Hi everyone, uh, today I would like to explain you the SNET concept of Big IP LTM. Uh, the full form of SNET is secure NAT, not uh, source NAT. So please keep that in mind. And here, uh, using this concept, what we will do is that uh, we will make the application, which web application, which is available on these three servers, uh, accessible to this client. Okay, so just to give you a brief about this current setup, I have got a F5 LTM which has got three interfaces. One interface is pointing towards the internet, second is pointing towards the servers, and the third one is pointing towards the management station. So three interfaces are there and those three have been configured. Self IPs are configured on the interfaces which are outside and inside. So this one is a public IP which I've taken randomly taken 100.100.100.x as the public IP and for private I'm using 10.x. So in this setup we have got a web application running on these three servers and this web application is being hosted to let's say the people who are outside or the clients who are outside using this VIP 100.100.100.101. So what happens is that whenever on this browser, if the person types 100.100.100.101, uh, he will be getting to route it to this FIVLTM box. FIVLTM box will in turn send this translate this. Uh, IP to one of the private IPs available on these three servers okay and then based on that servers will respond so I'll tell you uh, what the issue is with this setup the thing is that in real life uh, these servers uh, do not have their default gateway pointing back to the FIVLTM okay if this would have been the case uh, th there would not have been any issue because uh, any packet coming to FIVLTM uh, would have been translated, uh, would have been sent to the servers and servers would have responded back to the FIVLTM for any unknown IP address which is not on their network and FIVLTM would have done the retranslation and sent it back. So this is not the case that which means that we don't have the default gateway of the servers pointing to the FIVLTM self IP, this IP. Okay, so what we have rather is we have got a router which is my internet router in the organization this router is connected to the same LAN and it has got an interface connecting to the internet and uh, let me just do that and it has it's doing a netting over here on his you know it's outside interface uh, so what happens is that uh, Asymmetrical routing is taking place here in which uh, the packet is coming to FIVLTM with the source IP of with the source IP of uh, this 100.100.100.x and uh, it's being sent to the servers which are inside using the same source IP address and when the servers try to respond to this particular packet requ request it's being sent to uh, since this 100.100.x is not in the servers on the not in the servers routing table it will be sending it to the default gateway which will be this router this router will in turn send it back to the internet using the netting on its outside interface so when the packet reaches back to this particular host it will appear to it as if it's coming from the IP address the netted IP address of this router and not the virtual IP address to which it sent the request initially because of which this uh, communication will break and this whole client will reject the response which will and the communication will not work So now in order to resolve this issue, first thing we can do is set the uh, default gateway of these servers to the, uh, to the FIVLTM's uh, IP 
this, this self IP but we cannot do this so what we are suggesting is to use auto NAT so this is one of the solution to the problem that we have in in our hand as of now so what happens in this case is that when the packet goes from the internet to FI LTM FI uses one of the self IP which is configured on its interface as the source address of the packet and sends it to the servers so now the servers see that the request which is coming to them is coming from this 10.x IP which is a self IP of this FI LTM and not the 100.x IP which is of the client so the server it's on the same network so they will be able to respond to this particular uh, request and the request will in turn read the F5 LTM now this F5 LTM did the netting in first place when the packet was coming to uh, came it from outside so it will retranslate it back and then send it back to the host using 100.100.100.x IP which is the VIP the virtual IP of the application so there would not be an issue with uh, symmetric routing and the communication will work so this is option number one using auto NAT in which we use the self IP of the FI LTM's interface second option is to create uh, is called SNAT virtual translation in which we use create one IP we use an IP address which is kind of a virtual IP address not the self IP address of the box uh, to to change the, the source address of the packets which are coming from outside to the inside so here in this case same uh, the host will send the communication to f5 with the source address of 10.100.x f5 will be changing this uh, source address to 10.10.10.11 and it will be sending the packet to the servers okay one of the servers and the server will respond back to the f5 ltm with the destination of 10.10.11 again that retranslation will take place and the packet will reach the client so that's the uh, second option that we have the third option that we have here is to use a pool uh, so this in this SNAT pool we use we create a group of IP addresses which can be used for translating the source address of the packet which is this this IP address to one of the IP addresses configured in the pool so here same thing happens the packet goes from the client to the virtual IP address of the of the application f5 LTM records this and it sends the packet to one of the servers using the IP address of the IP address available in the pool now since again these IP addresses are on the same network so servers can respond it respond to the request and then it, it can go back to the host when the big IP translates it back from 10.10.x to 100.100.100.101 so this is the third method through which it will work so this is about the theory and uh, I'll be going ahead and teaching you how exactly we can do this in the GUI of the F5 LTM